Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make a quick video about the whole Warner Brothers Discovery thing. Now that the, mer the, uh, the merger, I guess, or the purchase has gone through and it's official. And I know they said they were thinking about probably even David Zasla. I think that's his name. He's thinking about having Warner Brothers be their, and not DC be their own studio, which I think is a good, uh, is a good idea. And they're trying to think, try to how to make things more profitable off the brand because that, like, I agree with what they said that they said that basically they wasted. They have so many strong IPs, you know, AKA Superman that they're wasting away, not making movies with that, that, you know, that they said they're thinking about ways of maximizing that. And, and Mac by maximizing you make a Superman movie, you make another Superman movie and stop, you know, stop having only the only Superman we have is Superman and Lost on TV, even though I enjoy the hell out of that show. And it's a great show, but we need a Superman on the big screen. Okay. And they really need to get on the ball with that. And I'm not talking about the um, the one the the one with the black uh, Superman. I'm not talking about that one. The Val Zod one, Michael Jordan. That's that's okay as long as they make it. But I want a Henry Cavill Superman movie, okay? And stop the BS. Or if you're not gonna give Henry Cavill his shot, which I think is a, a great mistake, cast another actor to be Superman, okay? And stop BSing, okay? Superman should be have should have movies, okay? I love Batman to death. And I'm glad the Batman movie, which is officially now on HBO Max now, and it made, I think, over $750 million in the U.S., I think. I don't know if that's worldwide or in the U.S. But anyway, that's probably worldwide. Uh, that's great and everything. And you're going to make, you know, we're going to have Batman in the Flash movie and everything. And may possibly in another Justice League movie. But you got to make a solo Superman movie. Okay, you want to make a solo one uh, Supergirl movie? Whatever, that's whatever. I'll, I'll watch it. But you need to make, use... Superman and stop the BS and you need a live action Superman movie and stop the BS. Okay. I, I don't know what Walter Hamada and the people that are in charge right now. I know Walter Hamada's contract runs out in 2023 and he's currently in charge of all that. So I don't know if Walter, if he's going to get his contract, renewed but you need to really get on board with the Superman stuff. And also how, where's this flash, not the flash, excuse me, the green Latin, uh, HBO series, HBO max series that was supposed to, to come and never, Got made. We heard like two or three castings of it, and then it just basically died, died in the vine. What the, what the hell? Okay, so I'm hoping this David Zassel will get on top of that. Okay, you said you're gonna make a Green Lantern, t uh, you know, uh, t television show on HBO Max. Okay, and there's nothing. We haven't. We heard a little bit of the casting, and then nothing. And then it just basically died on the vine. Okay, do something about that. Okay, come on. I'm just I'm fed up with them wasting away, them wasting time and wasting. So when you have valuable, things, I'm glad they're making the Batgirl movie and they're going to make the Blue Beetle movie. I'm ecstatic about that because I love those characters. And we got the Flash movie coming out, Ezra Miller notwithstanding. And like I said, if they want to, I said in the, the whole about Ezra Miller, if his, if his, if he has a mental health condition and he doesn't want to get help for it, then you find the movie's already filmed. And you just, I could, what I would do is a simple thing. You have the Flash going through the Speed Force, have him come out as a different actor at the end of it, okay? That's all you got to do. And problem solved. And you can go ahead and fire as a Miller if he doesn't want to get get help from himself. If he's an alcoholic and he doesn't want to get help from himself, you got time and stuff between now and when the movie comes out. If he doesn't want to get himself help and he's going to be too, you know, you tell his agent, listen, he, if he has mental issues, like medication he's supposed to take and he's not taking it, Tell him that he, we're going to fire him, okay? Exactly. That's a violation of his contract because I'm sure there's a clause in there about behavior and he doesn't, you know, he's got all these charges against him and you fire him, okay? But if he gets his act together, you know, you give him a little chance. Like I said, if he doesn't get his act together, if he gets his act together and then you can push on from there. But if he doesn't, like I said, you said this, you fight, it's real simple, okay? That's the flash, speed force. <laughs> you change the multiverse and you can have the flash come out looking like a different person, Okay. And I know some people want it to be Grant Gustick, which I wouldn't mind, but I, Grant Gustick is probably, uh, five, not fed up, but he's probably tired of playing Barry Allen for all these years. But you never know. I mean, you could ask him. But I I, I would just cast a, a nugger, another actor, preferably a, bl a blonde <laughs> actor, and as uh, Barry Allen going forward, okay, if, if Arizona Miller doesn't behave himself and just is a lost cause, okay? I, just, I would just have, at the end of the movie, you have an after credit scene, where the Flash comes out of the Speed Force, he pulls off his hood, and he's a different actor. <laughs> exactly. You can even have Iris there saying, Patty, you you look a little different, or something like that. Some, something funny, like something ironic, and then it goes off. And he's, he grins, and then it goes off. And then you can have that actor continue on as, as Barry Allen. The movie's going for it. Problem solved. 
But my main thing, exactly, I, I'd be happy if David Zaslow makes DC their own studio and actually use the characters like Superman that they've been wasting away. Use the Green Lantern, okay? Green Lantern is the, one of the most underused characters ever. Besides that Ryan Reynolds movie, horrible movie, they haven't used him. Use him, okay? Make the HBO Max series that you you said you're going to make and make a Green Lantern movie. Remember they were supposed to make a Green Lantern movie? It's supposed to be like a lethal weapon in space with Hal Jordan and... um. And John Stewart, which I would have loved to see, Toronto Rhodes and maybe Chris Pine, <laughs> right? Is Green Lantern, you know? I thought those those are two two great guys. Is that? But please, uh, uh, Water Discovery, please use the characters that you have. Okay, make use Superman. Okay, I'm sick to tired of them fridging Superman. Use Superman in the movies. You can use him in a Black Adam movie. You can use him in a Shazam movie. You can use him in a Justice League movie. You can move use him in a solo movie. Use Superman and stop wasting his character. He needs to be in live action and stop BSing around. Okay, okay, that's my my main gist of this video. That I want them to make a studio so it's separate from Warner Brothers, <laughs> and they can have their own brand and they can make their own movies and they can maximize their potential. Get video games, movies, TV shows, whatever you want to do. Okay, you get do series, do the Batman. Uh, let Ben Affleck do a. a a Batman series, a series of movies on HBO Max, you know, the Batman movies, like you know, standalone Batman movies. I would love that. That would be fantastic. Let him do his Batman script, him fighting Deathstroke. That would be perfect. Okay? That's all I'm asking. Okay? Let me know what you think of this. You know, do you think that's a good idea for them to make DC their own separate studio? I think it's great. And I think I also heard that they're supposed to be trying to set everything up to so they can do like a crisis movie where you can have all the characters from the, all of the universes, from the TV and the movies together in one movie, which I think would be great. Okay? And again, use Henry Cavell. Stop wasting him. Okay? And use him. Use or use Superman, the character, please. Okay, in live action again. Anyway, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, I have a link down below to my main channel, Trade Passer. Please check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear on this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me and always having my back. And again, my patron's only uh, $5 a month. Tons of content on there. Tons of unedited content on there. Everything from WandaVision to Loki to Hawkeye to uh, Moon Knight to What If to Titans to Doom Patrol to Stargirl, Low Superman and Lois. I got uh, the Book of Boba Fett, uh, the Mandalorian, and all four parts of Zack Snyder's Justice League, The Flash. Check it out. Follow the link below to the Patreon and check it out. Anyway, uh, please uh, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.